Hi everyone, let's talk about Woodcraft, which I've just finished a solo playthrough for. You can see that, it's linked in the description. That will give you all the info on how the game plays and hopefully give you the best idea of whether or not you'd be into it. This is just what I think of it, if you are interested in that. Full disclosure, I got sent this as a prototype. I mentioned that in the playthrough, but just in case you haven't seen that, you know, any discrepancies, you know, it's prototype materials. Uh, and it arrived yesterday. I'm meant to have stopped making videos and edit the ones that I've actually made and get them ready to go up. There's meant to be a holiday happening, but hey, Woodcraft comes, juicy calls. So I've only played this four times, once once uh, two player and three times solo. I suppose an extra time now. Uh, and so yeah, bear that in mind if you like. But as always, the playthrough is the thing I would recommend. Uh, this is such a kind of lovely interconnected web, but such a tight, kind of unforgiving game, but very, very satisfying when you can make things happen. I wouldn't say like kind of crack it and get it sorted because I don't think like spoilers for the solo playthrough. I haven't scored what the rule book considers a good score yet. Never mind uh, going on to an excellent score. For a start, lovely, you know, woodcrafting theme. Uh, really like the art, the style of everything. That's great. The mechanisms though, the action selection in this. So we've seen, you know, Things in action wheels in kind of prog cap at Regni. There's a lovely kind of shifting action tile system in Shipyard, uh, both uh, designed by Vladimir Suchi. This is co-designed with Ross Arnold. And just this in itself, this is a beautiful system. Yeah, you'll have to excuse my fingerprints over the prototype board. But the way that the bonuses build up on these spaces is so well done and so satisfying and so kind of riddled with risk that you want to keep repeating these actions. You know, maybe for yourself or maybe someone else keeps picking the action that you want. Uh, so, you know, to activate it again, you need to make the wheel go a little bit further and you're making all of these actions more lucrative for everyone else. You know, the, the more players there are, the more chance people are gonna get to these really lucrative things before it's your turn again. How much are you willing to give other players to get to take a recently used action one more time? How are the bonuses stacking up on the tiles in the other quadrants. You know, some of these combinations of things that you can be getting can really, really sway you to take actions that you're not particularly fussed about. Especially, you know, towards the end, getting to repeat one of your saw tiles or your splice tiles. Uh, you know, there isn't time, there isn't blueberries to be able to uh, buy more things. Maybe you've already got three saw tiles, but things just need sawing too much. Some of these things can be vital. And yeah, just the way this all shifts around, uh, I love it. There are plenty of things at play and you are kind of picking from a few of those, picking elements from a few. You can't do everything at all. You, know, you can't try and fill this attic and get loads of helpers and get all of the upgrades that kind of do things for you, that are growing wood for you, that are letting you just take massive dice and split them up. But yeah, trying to see what's coming out, what other people are doing, what tiles are available, what cards are available for you. Uh, yeah, you kind of mold your path through it. Just doing tons of orders can be really lucrative. Doing fewer orders, but making those orders worth loads at the end of the game by getting loads of reputation. Uh, going right up to the marketing track. You can keep, if you can keep earning the blueberries, I love that the money is blueberries. Uh, if you can keep earning those blueberries to keep spending you know, 12 in the last few rounds uh, to get 11 points a time, that can be absolutely huge for you. And you can sometimes, your know, orders are the thing, they will give you loads and loads of stuff. But manipulating the market as well, being able to buy cheap uh, dice, cheap lumber uh, from the lumber yard or getting rewarded some of it at some of the spaces and then being able to sell it on for a lot more thanks to maybe some bonuses that you've got doubling it up increasing the value and then selling it there's so many ways to get these orders done you know it's not just about there's this limited lumber yard here that you can kind of be thinking well the perfect numbers are in there I absolutely have to try and do that now or I really wish someone would go to that space because I don't want any of this stuff it's so far away uh, with the tools that I've got from being able to do any of these these orders I've uh, stuck myself with. You, know, you do start with a few and it's up to you uh, how and when they go out. You've got to put one out each time. So it is putting on that pressure. Uh, your orders slide down here and you know, they, depending on their difficulty, they might not end up that high up anyway. They might not have such high reputation bonuses, but every income round they're slipping down to the point where you've got to discard them and lose two reputation. You can never go below zero, but yeah, it can be a massive blow, especially if you know, you've been working towards it and just can't uh, quite make it work. There's just so many lovely combinations to try and work up between you know just the the various bonuses that come on the action wheel itself and then you've got the thing of you can pay a lantern to take a tile that's got great bonuses but pretend it was a different 
different tile or spend three lanterns to be able to take a bonus action and uh, do something that maybe wasn't even available to you. Uh, there's combos with that. There's the various helpers that can build up uh, depending on where you're placing them. You're earning income and stuff and uh, being able to activate them. That can be a bonus from various things as well. But getting to activate four or six of your helpers, especially some of the late game ones that can be rewarding you with like that had one in uh, the the two player game where it rewarded me with five brown that is a pretty expensive die to get and if you can keep triggering that with some of the orders that you're doing some of the bonuses that you're getting from here you're getting all those dice at the very end of the game can let you do some of these potentially difficult orders depending on the ones that come out of course you need ones that will uh, help you get those particular that, that, that want those colors but then there's a way around that you know rather than just you know increasing your being able to increase your value spend a scrap wood flip this over you can increase a die by one brilliant but the gluing not only is that great for you know, some of these low value dice that might build up that so oh, i've got these two twos well i want to make a four with that fine spend a glue token flip this over that's great you've got to have built the upgrade but it adds an extra uh you know, <laughs> dimension to things just trying to think of a different way of saying it because I'm constantly saying that. Uh, but yeah, potentially a color that you really need. You know, it's really expensive to get a six yellow or it just won't come out or I don't have anything that I want to sell right now. Well, I've got a really good five that was quite cheap or I got from a, a, a green four from this bonus over here. Well, I can use my glue tile and glue these together and you decide which color it ends up as. So yeah, there's, there's loads of uh, different avenues to get what you want. You don't necessarily have to do these actions. And really you need to find these other ways of doing things because I don't know if it sounds like a lot. 14 actions, if it does sound a lot, a lot to you, it is not. Uh, you have got the free actions on top of that, the soaring, the splicing, all of that stuff. But 14 main actions, maybe you're going to earn a couple of extra actions, although lanterns can be production bonuses sometimes. They can come up in uh, the, the wheel itself. They're on some of the outer bonus tiles. You know, uh, that can be like more of a focus for you that you want to earn those and take loads of extra actions on the wheel itself. But you're not getting many. And you can see this ticking around between these uh, income rounds. Uh, there's been plenty of panic in my game so far that just... I'm not getting anywhere up this income track. I am not earning enough. Although it can be, you know, if you're not if you're not moving up this very far, it's likely that you've earned a lot of blueberries from your cards themselves, and it's just you haven't got this uh, guaranteed fixed income throughout these rounds. It's going to depend on uh, the orders and the helpers and what you are particularly going for. But yeah, so so far it's difficult to like. It, it's going to take some play uh, to actually click and start performing well in this, I think, and not feel like I'm just panicking that, oh, I'm wasting my time. It's, uh, yeah, it's got a lot um, of depth, it feels like, in that respect. I haven't even talked about the attic and getting loads of tools and combining these and getting all the bonuses and wanting different things and oh, just loads of great stuff. But yes, it's, uh, it's, it's a tricky game to get to grips with, I think, even though, you know, the systems themselves pick an action you can do some free actions that's it uh yeah there's so much involved especially uh, with those free actions affecting what you can do and what you can fulfill and knowing the timing of uh well i want to get this used up before all of my tiles refresh but is it worth uh, gluing that thing in or if i spend this uh scrap wood uh, splicing this wood then i'm not going to have it to fulfill this order and i'm going to have to spend a whole other action going and getting components and stuff oh yeah there's <laughs> so much going on but uh also it can be easy to get yourself a bit stuck never completely stuck you can always forego an action to get three blueberries but yeah you have to kind of work on maintaining your economy that you can't rely on it just coming from this here uh, you've got to kind of think about you're going up this marketing track spending it on upgrades and stuff are you leaving yourself with enough money because you're going to have to come to this lumber yard and start buying things or you know maybe you, you there are ways around it of course there's never just one particular thing you can go for you know building all of of these pots and then every time you take a planting action you can plant two things uh, and every single turn they're going to go up by two you know that's a couple of turns to get them to the really high numbers but often you don't need the really really high numbers especially for the earlier on ones if you do let them get that high you can splice them up and hopefully uh, you know and, and saw them and hopefully use them for loads of things it's uh, really satisfying puzzling and planning all of that out but yeah, it can be easy to leave yourself in a position where it's just like, well, I'm going to have to spend a few turns digging myself out of this hole that I've put myself in. So uh, yeah, that's something to be aware of as well. But you know, it's just kind of the nature of the game. There's a lovely kind of underfelt of all of these interlinked bonuses and combos from all of the various systems uh, that add tons and tons of depth. 
But yeah, watch out that you're not just blowing all your money on a load of upgrades at the start when it's not really going to help you out in the short term. Uh, but yeah, as I say, I've had limited plays of this so far. Hopefully the playthrough has been the most useful part. I definitely want to as soon uh, as I am back because hopefully this didn't have huge errors in it and it went up. Uh, hopefully like as, as soon as I get back, I'm going to be doing something else and then it's going to be winging its way onto someone else to uh, get some early videos up. But thank you very much for watching this. There are loads of playthroughs on the channel. Hey, you can see loads of delicious game ones. Praga, Messina, Monster Baby Rescue. There's loads. Underwater Cities. There's loads and loads of stuff other than that as well. But tons on the channel you can check out. And uh, thanks for watching this one. I'll see you for the next game. Bye, everybody. See you soon.